welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting question uh, here we have a series and here also we have a series and this is equal to 1 over k now we should find the k and here n and p are positive integers well how to begin okay uh, we can take this series equal to s1 and this series is equal to s2 now uh, let's consider uh, s1 s1 we know uh, series uh, sum of 0 to n s1 to the r times uh, n choose r uh, times 1 over n uh, sorry r plus p plus 1 okay this is the interesting point now i am going to consider uh, this integral integral from 0 to 1 x to the r plus p with respect to x okay now uh, if we integrate this we know we have x to the r plus p plus 1 over r plus p plus 1 from 0 to 1 okay if we apply limit here we know we have 1 over r plus p plus 1 therefore uh, we can write uh, our sum is equal to uh, sum of 0 to n minus 1 to the r n choose r in cr and instead of this part we can take integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 x to the r plus p dx okay then uh, as a next step uh, we can interchange uh, this integral sign and sigma notation so we can write integral from 0 to 1 uh, sum of 0 to n minus 1 to the r n c r and here now we have x to the r plus p dx okay then um, now i am going to rearrange this uh, like 0 to 1 sum of 0 to n minus 1 to the r in c r times x to the r times x to the p dx well then this is familiar with us this part uh, familiar with us because uh, we know the binomial expansion of 1 minus x to the n so we know first uh, 1 plus x to the n the binomial expansion we can write uh, here r is equal 0 to n n c r times x to the r now instead of x if we apply minus x 1 minus x to the n is equal to sum of 0 to n n c r here minus 1 minus 1 to the r times x to the r so uh, now we can write uh, this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 instead of this part we know 1 minus x to the n so 1 minus x to the n times x to the p dx okay uh, then um, we can apply king's property so i think you know king's property integral from 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral from 0 to a f of a minus x uh, dx a minus x dx okay then uh, we can write we can apply king's property so uh, here we have integral from 0 to 1 uh, now 1 minus instead of x now 1 minus x uh, raised to the n power times x to the p dx okay then we can simplify here integral from 0 to 1 now 1 minus 1 get cancelled and we have x to the n times 1 minus uh, sorry x, yeah x to the n times Mm, ah, sorry here uh, x to the p if we apply king's property here uh, we will have 
1 minus x raised to the p power so here 1 minus x raised to the p power dx okay uh, then here integral from 0 to 1 x to the n uh, times now instead of this part we can apply again binomial expansion so we can write here uh, r is equal 0 to now p here p uh, minus 1 to the r times now p c r p choose r uh, times x to the r t x okay then uh, again uh, we can uh, switch integral sign and sigma notation so we can write uh, sum of r is equal 0 to p minus 1 to the r uh, p choose r and now integral from 0 to 1 uh, here x to the n x to the r so x to the n plus r d x okay then mm, we know here we have sum of 0 to p minus 1 to the r uh, p choose r and uh, here we know if we apply uh, same integral so here we have 1 over uh, n plus r plus 1 well uh, now mm, we know this is equal to our uh, second series s2 we know this is equal to s2 so we have uh, we uh, started with s1 and here s2 now we know s1 is equal to s1 is equal to s2 therefore s1 over s2 is equal to 1 so we know k is equal to 1 okay this is the answer for this question thank you for watching